Ah, uh, geez, this cannot be serious. The Japanese government is set to release over 1,000 tanks of wastewater from the Fukushima Daiichi meltdown into the Pacific Ocean starting this spring or summer. Some international organizations claim that the wastewater release poses no risk to marine or human life and that the wastewater release passes international safety standards. Advocates for the release say that the wastewater contains only radioactive tritium, which they claim won't have an effect on marine or human life. However, other scientists and organizations are coming forward saying that the Japanese government doesn't have the quantity or quality of data to ensure safety during the release of the nuclear meltdown wastewater. Out of the over 1,000 tanks of wastewater, only small samples of about 250 tanks have been tested. In addition to that, the samples contain wildly varying concentrations of the incredibly harmful radioactive isotopes strontium-90 and cesium-137. With this in mind, is there really no risk to marine or human life?